lighthearted plays, so this is kind of a first for them. So um, uh, now, without further ado, here's the play. stand being in the house. I know what you mean. The aftermath is just as bad. You know having a terrible time adjusting. I feel like she's always on my case. And I only seem to take her side. That's why I want to walk home with Jennifer today. I need a break. I know just what you mean. What I didn't like going home. My dad depressed me. I tried to avoid it as much as I could. How did you get away with it? It was easy. He would work until 7, then he'd pick up the night shift. When he'd leave, I'd sneak out, meet up with some friends, drink, and get home before the morning when he showed up, he didn't know a thing. Wow. I don't think I'd try anything like that. I mean, <clears throat> things are pretty rough right now, but not that desperate. Besides, my mom would kill me. Michelle, I'm glad we talked. I think we have a lot more in common than we realized. I think you're right. I guess now I realize I'm not the only one with problems. You seem like nothing ever bothers you. 
That's because I'm able to blow off everyone and everything. No pain, no stress, no hassle. I have my foolproof method of unstressing. I wish I could be like that. Maybe I wouldn't be so angry and lonely all the time. Hey, why don't you come hang out with me and Cisco after school today? We're going to the city park to uh, unstress. I, I don't know. I was supposed to meet Jennifer here after she finished her makeup test with Mr. Foley. She won't mind. Listen, Chuck, I really shouldn't. I'm not into partying or anything like that. I like you a lot, but you should come hang out with us. We're just going to party a little bit, and you'll be home before dinner. Your mom won't know a thing. Well? Well, I guess it'll be all right. Maybe Jennifer forgot? Michelle? Chuck, aren't you here a bit late? Michelle, did you miss your bus? No, Miss Marshall, I... I... Just finish some extra help with Mr. Pullian. Plan on walking home today. Oh, okay. Get a move on you two. We're gonna be shutting everything up soon. We're just leaving. Come on, Michelle. Excuse me, Miss Marshall. I was supposed to meet Michelle Ryan after my makeup test with Mr. Pulley. Have you seen her? Mr. Pulley? But well, wasn't Jennifer? Yeah, Jennifer. As a matter of fact, she left just a couple minutes ago with Chucky Harris. Mikey, can you do the dishes? 
but we shall say just do them. All right, so we've got the adjectives, adverbs, verbs, nouns, and a prepositional phrase. So all that's left to do is one prep phrase at the beginning of the sentence. Can anyone tell me where this prep phrase should go on the diagram? Kelly, could um, you tell me where this prep phrase should go on the diagram?
Michelle, where have you been? Chuck, I gotta run over late for police. What's your hurry? I got something for you. Here, for you. Oh, Chuck, I don't know what to say. It's beautiful. It's for you, because I like you, you know? Where did you get it? It must have cost a small fortune. Oh, uh, I, I came into some money. It, it wasn't too expensive anyways. Michelle, there you are. Oh, it's you. Mike, Chuck, I got to run. I'll be like the police attention. See you later. <laughs> so, Mikey, what's new? Stay away from my sister. Why should I? It's a free country. Look, Chuck, I know what you do. You wear that creep Cisco. You're bad news, and I don't want you pushing that on my sister. Ooh, I'm so scared. What, is the Monty Brothers suddenly becoming his sister's great protector? Listen, my sister doesn't do drugs. Ha, that's what you think. Why you? Oh, I thought I heard voices in here. I just came back to lock up. What's going on? Nothing, Mrs. M. I was just on my way out. Hey, Mike, wait a minute. Look, I don't know what was going on.